believe that. The Luhan corner saying that you got the guy hurt. Go get him. There he goes with the head again. He's so hard to nail because he comes in head first. Is that some of the fiction that you corner men sometimes pass on to your fighters? Hey, you got him hurt? <laughs> you do, uh, Tim. If your guy comes back and he's real tired, I've seen guys come back, they can hardly get, make it back to the stool. As soon as they get back, as, you know, they sit down, you say, the boy, the other guy's really tired. Luhan working hard in this round, for sure. I'll tell you that, that don't always work, Tim, because when you say a guy's tired, well, the guy said, if he's tired, I'm tired, too. So you got to be careful with that. It's all according to who you do with. There's that head, always with the head. Good uppercut landed from Chandler. Uppercut's a very dangerous punch. For a simple reason, you can nail yourself if you don't do it at the right time. That's right. Never throw an uppercut from outside. After Sports Spectacular, see top golfers take their best shots at the Bing Crosby Pro-Am right here today, 5 Eastern on CBS Sports. All right, here's what we were talking about. Here's Luhan going in left, right, and then head first. That's a tough kind of a guy to nail coming in because you're worried about getting hit with his head. Back live looking at Luhan in his corner. 15th round coming up. The champion is already in the middle of the ring. Jeff Chandler ready to go. Final round. There's that lead again. Just the way Gil just described it to you. And you saw on our replay frame. The referee finally in the 15th round wants him to keep his head up. Yeah, but Chandler learned what to do with it, Gil. He leaned on him and pushed him down, which is what you have to do with a guy that fights like that. Yeah, I remember a fighter by the name of Muhammad Ali that you taught that you to use that trick, and he used to use it very well. Came in handy. He didn't get busted up. Chandler seems intent on staying outside here. Wait, 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 wait. Hey, hey. As we see it, has every reason to believe that he is the comfortable winner by a decision. The judges, of course. There he is, charge again. Good left hand, cut blue hand coming in. I tell you, I would love to see Pinter. And this kid fight, Chandler, will be a tremendous fight. Right hand lead landed. Good shot from Chandler. Imagine if he came in 118 pounds, girl, how rough he would be. Yeah, he's a strong kid. Strong. Well, they may weigh only 113, but you wouldn't kick sand in his face at the beach. It's a well put together body. Chandler for the first time Gil was holding that last time. He was just holding and trying to stay in there and get a little rest. That's the first time he did that in the whole fight. Under a minute to go in the fight. Nice move by 
Chandler. Well, Lou Hunt's long bombs, but all they're doing is fanning the edge. Just pulled me off. Well, Chandler's shown his ability to slip from punches. at the end here, throwing a lot of leather, final seconds of the fight. The Panamanian corner coming in as though they won the fight. The fans on their feet think Chandler has defended it successfully. We'll be back in a moment. the challenger Jorge Lujan of Panama as we await the decision the judging by the referee and two judges Roberto Ramirez from Cahuas, Puerto Rico and the judges Angel Guzman and Samuel Candy also from Puerto Rico and in the ring there is the champion Jeff Chandler and his handlers his trainer Nick Belfiore with his back to you the Jolton Jeff Chandler <coughs> jersey and also in the ring is Becky O'Neill as manager of record holding the flag Jitterbug champion and vaudeville performer a few years ago. She'd rather not say exactly when, but a character, a delightful lady. So they're tallying the cards up here, and uh, I think... Sometimes the hometown crowd gets a little nervous when it takes this long to have the decision rendered, Gil. I always got nervous when it take, takes any, any length of time for a decision. This is the, you know, this is the time when lives are affected. Right, Ange? Huh? This is the time when lives are affected. The winner is going to go on to big things. I know, and I've watched a lot of consternation over there between the local commission and the other commissioners. And when they know, they want to know what the score is. So our friend, the commissioner, the local guy from Pennsylvania, it wants a score checked, and they're not getting no response. The chairman of the Pennsylvania Boxing Commission is James Bins, and there are the the officials uh, tallying the cards. WBA officials, uh, of course, ultimately in charge, but in concert with the Pennsylvania Commission, the local commission. The champion Chandler with his belt on in the ring. Very impressive youngster. Whatever the outcome of this decision, he showed that he is uh, some kind of worthy champion. Now, there are the uh, tallies, and it looks like they've got about a dozen judges. <laughs> That's why I don't like that 10-point Well, as you can tell, we've had some uh, considerable delay in rendering the decision, and that means that we will not have time to show you the skiing from Bengen, Switzerland, the World Cup slalom race that took place last Sunday. It was won by Bojan Krijaj of Yugoslavia with Ingmar Stenmark, finishing third behind Mark Giardelli of Luxembourg. Phil Mayer, the American, still currently in third place in the World Cup overall standings, was 11th in that race. We will be going down to Daytona for a report on the 24 hours of Daytona. Time permitting, uh, this is an unseemly delay here in, in rendering this decision in this Bantamweight Championship fight. It's always a mystery to me, gentlemen, why uh, it, it should be so difficult in this 10-point must system to get the man it up and check. There's a look at the uh, cards of, uh, well, let's see, I'm going to read the top of that, above Chandler. Pretty hard for us to read that. Well, that's not one of the uh, judges that we were... Uh, we were given here as uh, one of the judges for the fight, so that's something we'll have to check out. That might simply be the Pennsylvania Commission's authorized signature. And finally, Jimmy Lennon, the ring announcer, now has the decision. Ladies and gentlemen, in a fine, fine championship bout, we have a unanimous decision. Two judges and a referee, they have
agree. Reading the point totals, 148 to 143 says Angel Luis Guzman. 146-143 says Samuel Conde, judging at ringside. Referee Roberto Ramirez says 146 to 142. Unanimously the winner, still undefeated, still the champion, Jeff Chandler. Unanimous decision against Jorge Lujan of Panama. Now let's go quickly to Daytona and Ken Squire. Miles per hour, you are watching. 12 round heavyweight U.S. boxing championship, Greg Page versus Stan Ward. Don't miss it next Saturday and be with us tomorrow for the conclusion. Of for the CBS.